I am ready. How do we start this? Thank you all for joining. <laughs> you all enjoyed this particular video where we are talking about communication skill, how communication is one of the most important skills to become uber successful. A lot of people really liked this and they said, hey, can we have a communication series? So this is part one of the communication series, which we are revealing now. It's some great content. So let, let me talk through a little bit. right? Tamil Tamil Peser the Nala on the English medium school of Padchingena, English medium school of Padchukuda on the you may not be able to speak well in uh, English. That is the situation. Yanana my Epodana on the Tamil Peso, Tamil not Lakrana because we speak that, right? Uh, so Adanala English love the Peser of Ipical on the Rumba Kamiar. But if you studied in an English medium school, there are certain English medium schools which will make sure that you speak only in English. That is where I studied. When I was young, when I was in school, this is the same challenge what I had. All Although I went to an Anglo-Indian school, we still could not speak in English. Why? Because when you come right out of school, first of all, even within school, we used to speak in Tamil. The classes were taught in English. When you come out of the classroom, you are speaking in Tamil. And that is when the principals and the schools enforce, you cannot be talking in Tamil. So you had punishment if you were talking in Tamil. So they made sure that you are speaking in English while you were in the campus. So that is one of the biggest challenges what we went through. That was a blessing in disguise because the schools enforced. While I was in my fifth grade, this is what happens right up until fifth grade I'm not able to speak a line in English in the sense like you, you, your English is broken and things like that but what happened was my brother-in-law he just he, he, he used to work in the Indian Air Force and he used to tell me come what may before I go to school I have to read the front page of the Hindu newspaper and I used to sit and struggle oh my god what a punishment it was just to sit and read that now when I realize I give the same input to my son as well hey you should reach the front page of the newspaper almost on a day-to-day -day basis just to understand what's going on but it gives you a great sense of uh, gives you that reading experience invest about 20 minutes of your time in reading every day just the front page of a newspaper that's part one of your communication but I'm going to give you another important tip the most important tip is having a dictionary all right just getting a simple Oxford dictionary which you have as ready reference also you can download the dictionary app on your phone and this is something what I do every time I see a word like mea culpa which which we spoke about I immediately get to the dictionary take a note of that I also have what is called as a journal in which I have every new word what I write down what I read that day and I will try and utilize that particular word in a sentence on the very same day. Read a newspaper, something very, very simple, an English newspaper. I used to read the Hindu. Just read the front page. Just try and read for 20 minutes a day without fail. And if possible, read it aloud. If possible, have somebody correct you. When there is a new word, have a journal, write it down in a journal. Figure out what's the meaning in a dictionary and try to utilize that word the very same day in a sentence. This is the first part of our communicating in English made easier. This is the first part. We're going to have at least four more parts to this. So if you like this content, go ahead, like, comment, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, time is the most valuable resource in this world. And uh, you have given that by watching our videos and commenting on our post. For what you've given me, I shall forever be grateful. Thank you.